What's up everybody, it's Brenton Brown from Forza Tuning and Performance. And I want to talk a little bit about the car I got behind me. It's a 2000 Ferrari 360 Modena. This car came in for a major service, which is pretty typical. It's a, it's a gated six-speed car, which those are getting pretty rare now. So we kind of went through the whole car. Um, in addition to the major service, we went through it and like the headlights on the car. The 360 and 430, the headlights will get kind of foggy over age. So we restored those, um, we got those done. Major service, which is timing belts, idlers, uh, water pump, stuff like that, pretty typical for Ferrari. Uh, valve adjustment, spark plugs. Uh, we also went ahead and put a new clutch in it. Pulled the transmission out, as you can see. We just got done putting a new clutch in it, new flywheel. We're also doing, a, we're upgrading the cam variators. So the cam variators go bad on these engines. Um, there's a technical service bullet in years ago, but now most of the time you see the cars, they've already been replaced. So what you look for is a stamping on the engine. Um, so if, you, if they've been replaced, they'll have a green dot on paint dot, but you're supposed to stamp the engine. So this car still has the original ones. There is some slack in the timing belt, so we're gonna replace those. So at this point, we kind of got everything taken apart. The transmission's ready to go back in. So we're kind of good going back with everything now. Trying to race? Yeah, I am. You want to put money on it? Oh, you want to put money on it? So you racing, racing? Yeah, we racing, racing. Oh, geez, let's get it. <laughs> All right, so the car behind me is a 2016 Challenger Hellcat. Um, it originally came in a few years ago for a stage two and then went on to a stage four R. Um, since then, done a built motor in it. Um, so what it's in here now for is we did a four link rear suspension. So if you watch any of our videos, I've covered this before, um, what the four link is, why you would want it in more, much more detail. So I'm not gonna go completely crazy on that, but you can see a good picture of it installed. And what I'm doing right now is basically when you do the four link and take out the stock rear subframe, you can no longer use the same exhaust. So you can use the front section and the back section, um, but you gotta make intermediate pipes. So what I'm doing is I'm just fabricating two connection pipes to go from the front to the back that will work with the four link. So um, I'm gonna duplicate those several times because we got probably three or four cars getting this four link. So now that I got a design that I like, I'm gonna just go ahead and replicate that. So once we get it together, I'll show you all the process, show you what the end product looks like. And then we start it up, you can hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, hope you liked the video. We're gonna do a part two, that way I can show you all once the Ferrari's done, go for a ride, um, a little more detail. And that's also on the four link car. I wanna show you all once the exhaust is fully done, what it looks like, um, what the four link is like out on the road, um, and really where it shines as far as added traction. So if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the notification bell. See you again next time.